Hello and welcome to another Rictacular video. My name is Mr. Riculous. Say hi, Morgan! I don't know if they heard. Anyway, we're gonna make another video since last time we're very out of the way and random in a different place. And uh, not much has happened. I've built some things to help me, like a dev null and some, uh, some, uh, uh, clipboard uh, to keep track of what I need to do. But anyway, today we're going to start in on some tech mods and we're going to get technology going. Show, uh, I've decided to use IC2 against my better judgment, but I'm also going to be using mechanism as well in like an aiding kind of sense. Basically, the metallurgic confuser is way better than any other implementation to make circuitry or steel. So I'm going to use it and abuse it, but I'm not going to use a bunch else. I'm mostly, mostly going to be using IC2. So we need to find rubber. Luckily, I was searching all this time, not really all this time, to find a village because villages spawn with these weird tech reborn rubber things. So this has some rubber and I forgot my tree tap, but I think it comes with one. Yeah, it does. Yay. And it comes with a bunch of rubber. Yay. So two. Um, so we're going to tap this for rubber. And we'll be able to come back and visit here plenty often because these do regenerate on the tech reborn trees. I don't know if the IC2 ones do, but these do. And they're commutative, so it all works. Any more than I could see? No. Nope. Alright. Oh, oh my. Big brain, big lag spike. Alright. Hello. Anyway. So now we've got those. And we've got a waystone we can activate. I'll have to build one of these so I can teleport around. Let's, uh, J. Waypoint. Village. Ooh. Village. And. 250. 250. Zero. I like villages being pure yellow. And while we're here, we should explore the most important village building. Oh, we got a bunch of fancy stuff. Prospect detects ores in a straight line. Dark boots. Ooh, wait, I can combine these, can't I? I think I can in an anvil. You get the best book. Black orchard. Diamonds, dope. Tin, copper, I have a bunch of that. Wing truck is slow fall after six blocks. So that's pretty cool. I don't really need that, but I think. Can I smelt these in an ender? Let's see. Can you be put through a smelter? You can. So I'll do that. Then, eh, I guess I'll take them. Why not? Powered four. Oh, cool. That was a good haul. Um. Let's run back home and ignore the rest of this village. Eh. Maybe the actually additions building. I'll parkour in so that mobs aren't going to have an easy time getting in. There we go. There we go. Uh, nothing terribly useful. Uh, can't break these, so I'll have to get a block displacer at some point if I want to just steal those and be lazy. Which I think I do. Alright. So, find rubber. We found a bunch of rubber that'll get us started. Now we need to make a generator. And we will do that shortly. Okie dokie, back home. Oh yeah, I've also made a trash can in the time since we've been gone. Made a pattern chest to hold all of these. Uh, put the armor stand station in, like, you know, a nice little array with this. Did a few things. Alright, so, ooh, are we low on iron? No, we just need to smelt up some iron. So we'll get iron smelt. Actually, I need the wing charm. Just put it right there. So that will... I'm going to test that while we start smelting up iron. Feel comfortable handling the chameleon. Right. Oh wait, where's that iron chest plate?
and full health can't be smelted because it has wood in it I would presume all right well let's uh let's see four blocks that's plenty of iron so we need to get started and build our generators so build the ic2 generator generator right here we need an re batteries base machine case and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. so let's get crafting I hate how laggy this mod seems to make the crafting table. Don't you hate that, Morgan? Yes. Good answer. How do I... did I... Hmm. Maybe it's like this? There we go. Almost like I know how to play Minecraft. It's tin. Not be used for this shit. Uh, that's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that's all the tin I have. Uh, I have some more tin here, fine. Let's actually just smelt our tin then. Yeah. That'll work. Should I automate this? Yes. Will I? Probably not. It's nearly soon enough. Six. Seven. Eight. Back to iron. Alright. So I got some tin. I need these. I need at least... Those. And then I need to plate this, fire that, smelt some of this rubber, which I should have been doing already. Alright, I smelt the sap into rubber. I just need one for now! battery check Eight. all right this machine casing the furnace boom generator crossed off a list let's see More iron. Um, if I put my bed right here for now. All right. So we'll put the generator right here. Perfect. And now we need to skip cables for a second because we're actually going to use the universal cables instead of wires. Let me change that. Basic universal. Uh, basic universal game. Uh, we're gonna go for the metallurgic infuser next. Show boom boom. Oh wait, gotta craft these first. Boop. And we'll just do that. There we go. Boom. Now, can you directly take energy from here, or am I gonna need to do some tomfoolery? I guess I'll just test with a piece of coal. Ha ha! So that means the universal cables should probably work. Which means we'll never have to use any kind of fancy dancy RF, EU to RF conversion shenanigans. Which is nice. Show. Let's make some steel dust that we can then smelt in our smelter and have super fancy times. So, we're not gonna make an enrichment chamber though, so that's kind of a balancer for this. So we need to make four steel. 
which will probably upgrade our armor with this eventually, but for now, I'm gonna make some steel. Yeah, that's so cool. It's great that these systems can work together. <laughs> Two. I need to move closer to the mic. Three. There, now that should just be box. Yep. Just have that constantly dumping out our iron. And smelt up my steel. Perfect. So, with that, we have Metallurgic Confuser out of the way. We'll have the Universal Cables done soon. So, let's get going on a Masonry Tour. Masonry Tour. The Masonator. We're going to need electronic circuits, which is why I did the control circuits, because uh, why I made the metal diffuser. So, to use the electronic circuit from IC2, you need a bunch of copper cables, iron plate, redstone, very, ex you know, just a bunch of crafting. To make these circuit boards, I need a carpenter, tin, redstone, water of all things. Forestry is really weird. So... Yeah. It's kind of really weird to me. But, metallurgic infuser. It's just osmium and redstone that combine to make control circuit. No need for water, no need for tin and redstone. It's just real easy. So we just plonk in two redstone, plonk in two osmium, and we'll have a metallurgic, uh, or a, a thingy. Uh, uh, base control circuit. Which is or to connect with the basic electronic circuit from industrial craft. Everything comes up my way. I'm gonna try to refrain from making steel. Like I'm not gonna get an enrichment chamber to better my steel production just because that feels a little out of balance with the way that the mod pack is trying to balance it at least. Granted, it could be wrong. So there we go. Basic cables done. Macerator time. So, we need some machine casings, three flint, two common. Do we have any flint left over? Three, just enough. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two common. So, let's make our basic machine casing. And finish our masonry tour. Bam! And now it should be getting power, right? Or does it only accept power at the top? Or does that only eject power out of the top? Hold on a minute. This could be a hitch in my plan. Hmm. You definitely eject into the machine. Why do you not want to work with the cable? The cable will attach. I think it has to be lapis. I don't think it's or dictionary. It's not. Uh, this could be a hitch in my plan a little bit because this was supposed to just work. I pres I was hopeful. It's attaching. It's just not. Maybe. Alright, I'm going to make a quick cut, go find some lapis, and hopefully, well, hopefully a quick cut. And then we'll, uh, we'll hopefully have our configurator and test this. Um, well, before I go through all that trouble, let me do a little bit of testing on camera so you see exactly what we enabled cheats for. So, bear with me. to figure eight items uh, what's the mechanism mode switch mode mechanism item Let's see if we can get it to pull out. 
Okay. So I can pull power. So this won't be a waste of time. Alright. So. Now that we've done that, I'll make my cut. We'll go find it. And now we know we're not wasting our time because that actually is how it works. That's so weird that I have to make a configurator though. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna go find some lapis. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We made our cut. Uh, oh, jeez. I've got like a... One of my own hairs is like stuck in my windscreen of the microphone. That was gross. Alright. <clears throat> we're back. And better than ever. Uh, let's get back into it. Let's... So we found lapis on our mining trip. We found a bunch of other things too. I don't even know what fluorite is. Uh, obtained alongside lapis lazuli when breaking lapis lazuli. Or... Crush fluorite turns into fluorite. Fluorite water. I don't know what you use that for. Oh, maybe we'll get in the nuclear craft at some point. Maybe not. Let's, uh, am I really full on this stupid thing? Wood casing. One, two, three, four. There we go. Small storage screen. Another. There we go. Alrighty. So we need one lapis. We need to make some enriched alloy. So I need two of these. Two of those. Uh, keep that in there. Put one of those away. And grab four redstone. God, so... Ugh, sorry. Orienting myself. Um... Alright, let's make a... Alright, we've got an energy tablet, then we need this. Ah, oh, crap, I need two more of those. Son of a bitch. Always the way. Always the way! Energy tablet, lapis, a stick, and then these two, when they come out, will give us our configurator like we need. Which we need to get this going. I'm really glad, though, that it's just a case of it is them working. You just need a little bit more work. And I think I can actually use this without having to... Uh... Here. Ha ha! There we go. So it doesn't need power while it's working. Or to make it work. Perfect. So now those are all charging up. Perfect. Alright, Mesa Raider complete. That took a while longer because of a little bit of unexpected stuff. But let's get into our electric furnace. And then this should draw straight from yep, the inventory next to it. Alright, electric furnace. Done. I don't know if these auto-output to each other, or to themselves. I think this auto-outputs out the top, actually. But, having them next to each other will at least pipe it into, like, off the top into that. Because, that'll look weird, but, you know what, whatever, we're using ice too, so deal with it. No experience, okay, weird. That's cool, it, like, holds the experience. Canning machine. I have not built one of these, so, canning machine, done. Okay, let me go deal with this one. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, the dog has been dealt with and the woman has been shamed for her ill practice. So anyway, canning machine, done. Now we need a metal former, although the metal former was kind of, or wait, no, the metal former can make plates, I think, right? I think that's why we want the metal former as well. So anyway, let's just get this. This one is quite the process because we need bronze we need coils all of these things show excuse me let us uh get the circuit going should have bronze yeah 10 bronze actually i think i need let's see i need five and five so i need 10 uh, 10 casing yeah, I need five bronze. 
There we go. And then I need two chests. Two boxes. Done. Coils. I need to convert all of... Wait, why won't... Okay. I need 24 coil or copper. So that would be... How many plates? 12 plates. Pretty sure that's the math on that. Yep. And all around iron. Boom. And then I need a machine casing. Boom. I'm going to need to do four chambers soon enough. Boom. 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 And... Lag and tow. Boom. Metal former. Everything I need is done. Bam. Extruding, rolling, cutting. Right, so this replaces the forge hammer. That's right, so get out of here. Useless. And you will smelt up. And now what we have is everything we wanted to get done. Done. Uh, that's a nice looking little uh, clipboard there. So... What we can do with the canning machine is create right on extruding mode. Yep. And you'll create my cans. And these will be super useful in making food a much better thing. Can in there. Do how do I convert steam? I need more tin. Let me see. I'm just going to load this thing up with a bunch of cans real quick. Alright, so all of our tins in there now. Let's just dump most of our inventory. I don't need those either. Fuck those things. Yeah, got rid of them. Made them in this episode, got rid of them. Oh, by the way, you can tell that I actually went mining, because, like, you can see all the stuff I did before. Like, I didn't just cheat it in and, like, log out so you wouldn't see the stuff. It's all there in chat. And you got, like, damage on the pick. All the extraneous crap. I didn't just have lapis. So, yeah. Prove myself for the point of nothing, really. Empty, empty, cannon. Can for sale on tank. Fill self on tank. Wood match, tank for sale, cannon. I'm assuming I just need the canning process. I really don't know. Let's just start making these into cans real quick. Just so I can kind of see how this works. I've never used the tin cans from IC2 before. That's, uh, this will be new, well, let me rephrase. I haven't used anything IC2 in many years, to the point where I don't remember what's changed. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was just Industrial Craft 1 back then. I don't really remember. It's been a while. Seven years as we established the other episode. But I do like this. This is cool. And I know I'm using Mechanism for some of it. No. It's a bit of a cheat, a bit of a cop-out, but whatever. You know. It's all the mods. We gotta use all the mods. So, we couldn't, we couldn't just use one. Let's, how does this work? How do I... How do I do... Recipes. We'll put a cookie. Potato makes one. Raw beef takes that much. How much is a cooked steak? Oh, it takes eight. So each one of these? Let's try a baked potato then. Let's see what happens. All six. 
Whoa, and it's instant. That's pretty cool. Hush. So then how many, if I only have two left, then how many does it take? So that was, was that six or five hunger? So four. I don't know how much each one of these gives, but uh, that's pretty cool. So I guess we'll get to uh, making some more tin cans, and I guess tin cans will just be no. <laughs> oh, excuse me. things I need to make for a while. But that being said, everything we wanted to get done is done. We have a food implementation too. Woo! It's pretty cool. Oh man. Next episode, I fell into some lava while I was in the mine, and I survived, which was impressive. But, probably the toughness of the armor. But, it reminds me that I need to upgrade my armor to... To... Oh, by the way, how does steel do? Steel is less defense than osmium. Man, why is steel worse than osmium? Less knockback for you, more for your attacker, makes your armor more effective. I don't know what that means. Might do steel plates. That's pretty. Four and a half toughness per... It's way better than the bronze plates, and it'll look cooler. Because bronze plates were, uh, yeah, way less. More durability, but less. So let me make some steel plates. Ooh. Between episodes, I might make the steel plates, because we've done that already. But next episode, well, maybe we'll just upgrade as we go. So that's fair. Where is it? Fire resistant. That. Fire resistant monitor. Coating your armor and fire resistant material will make it harder to burn you. It's just science. Reduce damage from fire and lava. Requires only one modifier. Not compatible with other resist. Multiple levels. So, fire resist modifier. There it is. That is blaze powder, obsidian. Ooh. Well, maybe we'll take a trip to the nether. Maybe that'll be what we do. Maybe we gear up for the nether. I don't know. We'll see. I'll come up with a plan. Hmm. Let's see. Real quick. Let's. I think steel is a very good material for tools. Obsidian mining level. Mining speed. Osmium, on the other hand. It's diamond mining. So, if we make a steel pickaxe head, then that will do us the trick. And we'll make a steel comma as well, because we need to upgrade our poor little comma. This guy, not doing great. So, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a bunch of tink Tinker's upgrades next episode. I know we just did a Tinker's episode, episode 2, but, you know, whatever. Episode 4, Tinker's upgrades. I'm gonna start preparing materials. Why do I have doors in my inventory? <laughs> Don't know. Um, yeah, so I'll come up with a list of things to do next episode, and yeah, it'll probably be Tinkers related. So anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.